read. Okay, here's what you couldn't see yesterday. <clears throat> um, this is one by three, one by one, all 065 wall. These are actually strips of 316's plate. 316's plate. Um, I'm gonna put my battery in the middle here somewhere. Now my suspension is all the way down, and the uh, panhard bar on the rear end is no way near it. And this still has to come up an inch. Actually, this piece doesn't belong here. It's got to be knocked out. And that's holding that up about a cheese two inches. The front end's on the ground, on the frame. It should be. Uh, there's a perch right here. It should be an inch up off it. Um, this piece here. All of this, this cross member, all that is going to go. Um, back in the day, I didn't have anything to hold it upright, and it kept falling back on me, and I was trying to make things. And But the only thing I really wanted to use was these wings. Having this little piece here isn't going to hurt anybody, because it'll probably be covered and upholstered and who knows what, right? But this is my actual floor beams. From here over, it's going to be all sheet metal. Now, the way I set it up, I have my body back. My wheelbase is 113 inches. And I put a good, I don't know, maybe six inches away from the firewall from the distributor. My body's channeled over the frame, but um, the way the floor pan is higher, I made it so I really don't need much of a tunnel. I could put fully flat floors in this thing, but your seats are going to be on the floor, so you're going to be, you know, laying back and relaxing. Um, the kickups and everything, I don't mind. Uh, there's some things I'm going to cut off because we know the tanks are going to be shorter, probably about here. But I mean, this is just a wing. Gonna cut it off. Um, everything clears. It was a really neat setup. It's kind of heavy. This is um, 18 gauge sheet metal, and uh, I was meticulous back then. I was tacking little corners and everything. Um, this actually went from here to here at one time, and I cut it all out because I realized there's all this space underneath. I'm gonna make that like a, a hidden area for who knows what. Maybe a radio. I mean, of course, the battery, things like that. I don't mind the kickups. What, in, what ends up happening is these are the holes for the seats. Now I have a nice set of Chevy Cavalier seats up here. And if you take the heads, if you take the, uh, the foam off of the Cavalier seat, you end up with this really, really short seat. And I might use them, I might not. I might skin all that stuff out just down to the tubes. And I might form them in aluminum and make some of my own type uh, bomber seats. Who knows? And I'd love to buy that three, four hundred dollar bomber seat for the back seat. That'd be awesome. But uh, you know, then what do we do the floor in? Uh, wood, and, uh, metal, aluminum, and eh. maybe, maybe the inner door panels would be aluminum. But I don't have anything for rockers on the body. As far as um, the Chevys went, it was this piece of oak that went from here to here. Actually, it went from the very front of the firewall all the way back to here and even beyond, and then there was an upright piece that went up over the back. Um, that should have weighed like 70 pounds. If it weighed three pounds, you were lucky. Of course, it's all gone. Look how that fits under there nicely. Um, I have to form my own side rocker panel. There's nothing. I might go front to rear and then match it, but I've got to get my rear body. I've got to, you know, get, I'm, I think I'm going to get original hinges. If you look at these, these are spaced away from it by about, uh, I think it was a quarter of an inch. I left the original sheet metal sticking out over. This is 316's plate. This was also wood at one time. Now the beam on the door is, is pressed, pressed uh, 316's plate with the hinges and everything on it, but they left these notches. This can come off anytime. They left these notches in the in the sheet metal. See all these holes? This was wood in a Chevy, and they nailed it with tiny little brads. This is not a Ford. This thing did not have its own internal brackets and supports and uh, door panels are made out of metal and everything. You had nothing. Inside is a piece of one by three because I found out it fits perfectly, and that goes all the way down and carries to the bottom of this pe this pipe. Um, this was one piece. Top to bottom, I had to hand shape this whole thing. I made, I took the rotted wood patterns, pulled them out. I made thin aluminum ones, and then I made two, one on top of the other, and three sixteenths plate. And then I made a crossing tube for a little support behind the dash. Uh, my dash had nothing too. Your dash is also bolted to that piece of oak right there. There's a long strip with two metal brackets on the end. That's the only thing that holds your dash in. 
I went a little differently. I took my dash. Now I, I don't have a 31. This is a 29 with the big oval in the middle. I like much better. I took my my 29 dash and I enforced it with one by three and one by one. Just down the side, just the back support. A uh, piece of wire. This is a piece of 3 16 plate. Comes down to a reversed muffler clamp. Here's my start button, my ignition switch. You know the gauges. Dad had a 3 quarter inch piece of oak. We carved it all out and put the gauges in there. Um, that's the Corvette logo. But this would be pretty easy. I've done all the hard stuff. It's just a matter of putting it together and making it work now. But I think I'm going to go to the junkyard and get some... Um, I'm going to go get a battery for free. I'd like to make a tray in here. Now it's going to be recessed a little bit, just enough to clear this, and I'll have to have some kind of insulator over it. But I wanted to put the battery in the middle. Today's junkyard find. 12 feet of battery wire. And a little bit of black. I don't need much black. It's got a junction block, but it's all corroded and burnt up. We'll cut that off. Pretty cool. Get a battery for free tomorrow. Okay, the wire is from the junkyard. I got it connected to the starter up front. I'll take a picture. I uh, just ran it up manually, you know, no straps yet, up the side. It's going to come out the side. I welded in that, um, I had this battery tray I made, and I know there's a battery around here. I can get one that fits. This one's just a little bit too big because it's got those stupid wings. Uh, it'll probably sink down about another inch. But I also um, set it up so it lays back a little. So So it's pretty much level compared to the frame of which is two degrees nose down. I'll put a little bracket here or even a piece of wire to catch it and hold the back up. But it's nowhere near my drive shaft. I'm at the lowest suspension right now and I ran a string from there to there and I'm still three inches away from the battery. I don't mind the battery sticking up because they're probably going to put some kind of a shut off. Um, that's all I really had time for today. I did have my choice of two sets. This is the old ones. These are either... Uh, Bronze or uh, copper, I forget. Well, there was the crimp ones. I like the crimp ones. Slide the uh, wire in and turn a screw tight. Put a little grease on it.